All right, here we go. This is a custom 3v3 on Chasm between the green team in the upper left, Lethal Poison in the Gothic Helix, Nuclear Pizza in the Shark, Angel and Blastabits in the Classic Osprey in their opponents, the blue team in the bottom right, Happy Death in the Gothic Angel, Yellow Saver in the APB Striker, and Chrome HD in the Classic Striker going pretty normal standard o openings here on Chasm with so many sockets. Usually it is insanely beneficial to socket every single one with Moneymakers, uh, and especially in a 3v3 anyway. In a 1v1, it's not really going to be the same thing, uh, but we do have a uh, Chrome HD putting down the money makers at top. Last of it's going immediately with the, uh, uh, with an approach to mid. Happy Death trying to harass it, but Nuclear Pizza is there to support, and it doesn't look like he's going to really be able to get that far. Yellow Savior working on their their side. T99. Uh, Happy Death actually really low on health. Oh, and does get finished off right there by uh, Lethal Poison. Actually got that last hit. Oh, oh yeah, the, the Helix. That's not very um, surprising, but yes. Now Lethal Poison putting down the money makers there at mid and or at, at the bottom left. And uh, quite a lot of Mortys. There was a Morty stack earlier by that green team, allowing them to grab mid four now. But it doesn't look like they're going to be able to hold it for very long. They don't have very many units on that uh, left side, on their friendly side. Um, and two Angels in this game, so it will be a little bit interesting to see how this Chasm fight goes. Nuclear Pete's actually really low on health. Lethal Poison also really low on health. Will he be able to survive here? Yellow Saber really, really desperately trying to get this finish, but with Nuclear Pizza coming back to support. Oh, but Lethal Poison getting killed by one of the creeps sitting over here. Wow, a little bit hilarious. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, Soldier is actually Creep, because for some reason they don't have the Creep, um, you know, the Creep, uh, name in there. I should probably report that. Either way, uh, the, now, now we do have both teams with a pretty aggressive mid-fight here. No one has dedicated units anywhere else. And it does look like Blue has been able to take the outpost one more time. But once again, not really going to be able to hold it. And Angel versus Angel. Happy Death Nuclear Pizza trying to snipe but back and forth, trying to snipe both each other and each other as units. 44 to 57. The Blue team is a little bit ahead right now. And uh, let's see, quite a lot of artillery down in the field by the blue team. Not as much down with the green team, obviously. Their unit cap, or their upkeep is a lot lower right now. But they are able to hold four now. They do have one jammer down out on the field. Yeah, just the one. I don't see anyone with someone yet. No one is level four, actually, so that's quite impossible for now. Happy Death My Oh, able to snipe one more Longhorn. And uh, Blast of is trying to keep him healed up. But Yellow Savior and Chrome HD doing great passing over, uh, doing scouts. And uh, oh, now we do have a Lethal Poison bombing. Um, and Happy Death trying to block, uh, you know, just snipe even more. And uh, yeah, now the, the the blue team sort of pulling ahead, 50 to 68. So it's that's about the same difference as it was before. It's just the each, you know, each team has grown their upkeep in about even ways. And Happy Death actually really low in health, but uh, I think did just get a level up, so he uh, was not too much in danger. And actually, these shooters dropped by Yellow Savior. Um, as he is the only one with shooters in his loadout, right? Oh uh, yes, yes, he it is on the blue team and uh, easily getting finished off by the uh, by the green team. But now the blue team already has hit their max at 74 out of 70, and Happy Death still trying to snipe more units here. Uh, now Yellow Saber bringing more artillery out on the field. Let's see how much artillery each team has out on the field right now. It is four and two by uh, the blue team. And let's see, it's not very much by the green team. It looks like it's just, uh, let's see, maybe two. Yeah, two down uh, for the green team. Oh, and it does look like the green team is starting to push the bridge, the top bridge. Uh, Blast of it dro dropping there to draw a little bit of fire. And the body block by Yellow harassing. Happy Death already calling out top. And now Chrome HD also does scout it out. Uh, Yellow Savior able to kill two money makers. Or the second one, okay, does go down, and it does look like he will help his teammates uh, and and support this top fight. These uh, these uh, better be set on Y, and w instead of switching T, probably have to be mass held because if you switch to T, they will split up just like they are doing right now. So the blue team only has to deal with about four tanks coming over here to the top. And these two are going to go and get themselves pretty much killed, going for the mid here down at the bottom. And now Blastabits with a couple of Mortys down here. Will they be able to get this neutralized? This Morty actually focusing on the Moneymaker, but Blastabits will be able to get this neutralized. No! A couple of creeps coming down by Chrome HD, and the blue team will be able to hold for now. But Blastabits still here. All the Mortys still alive. And, uh, okay, they have been able to neutralize the outpost, but the blue team has been able to kill a couple of Mortys, so they will not be able to take it uh, quite yet. The green team, anyway. And it is still neutral, though, and nothing really here defending. Just a couple of boxers and Last of Us with a little bit more Mortys and Nuclear Pizza as well. This will go up to green, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it will go up to green. However, the blue has, has pretty much won this mid-fight. Quite a lot of units pulled back for the green team. However, they have been able to grab this. Will they be able to hold it? Will there be enough Morty spam? And no, it will go back down. No, the, okay, the Mortys do go down, and the green team will be able to hold here. A couple tanks drop down. The boxers are still alive, but they are doing 
pretty much nothing but drawing away the enemy unit fire. Oh boy, I didn't even notice this. This was sent from the mid cluster down here. Oh no, this was a counter push from the bridge. Uh, and so this bridge counter push is going to this uh, to this fort right here. The green team has been able to take this bottom outpost under their control, and uh, the blue team just aggressively pushing that from that bottom also. And this mid fight, this, these mid fight units have been turned around and are now standing, uh, pointing toward this uh, this green unit cluster here. This uh, blue unit line here, the, uh, tanks and busters, longhorn busters actually. Oh, with two artillery pointing in, so great defense by Lethal Poison. He will be able to shut this down pretty handily. Uh, but the blue team still w working their way back up toward their own forward, which is a little bit hilarious to see. Um, the green team still holding now. Uh, nuclear Pizza all by himself. Oh, no, no, no. Blasovitz is here as well. So uh, Lethal Poison uh, was able to hold out. Oh, no. Yellow Save repositioning one Ratchet and one uh, Longhorn. And it will do a little bit of damage here, but will be forced to retreat because Lethal Poison is that Helix. And Yellow Saber bringing one Ratchet back. Wow, it's a little bit hilarious to see, but he is able to snipe some artillery. And Nuclear Pizza and Blastavitz holding the line here. Um, Happy Death is uh, trying to approach here with Boxers using Boxers as a meat shield. And um, they're absolutely nothing defending over here at the Blue Fort. So maybe the Green Team might want to consider doing a couple drops or a small push. All in might be a little bit uh, dangerous as they would pretty much be giving away the only advantage they have in this game. Uh, the blue team having that middle outpost. Will they decide to push out again? This top outpost is completely unguarded. Uh, will any of the blue... Okay, now the blue team is pushing out. And Yellow Saver going for top as well. He's setting these on T, I would assume. Uh, the blue team still holding line down here with three artillery and Estonia protecting. The green team, once again, just holding. Look at all these tanks ready to be pushed out. And it does look like they will do quite a lot of damage. There is nothing here for the blue team. However, the green team really does need to worry about this very large unit cluster coming over here. Yellow Saver repositioning one Longhorn uh, in firing range of this other Longhorn, but that's probably okay. Uh, he has quite a lot of tanks coming out here now, and the green team now also pushing out. Oh man, Blast Bits and Nuclear Pizza also going to try to do a uh, pretty, uh, you know, a good amount of damage, but now Chrome HD and and uh, and Happy Death are both there to defend, as well as Lethal Poison here to defend against Yellow Savior. Yellow Savior does have to go back to recharge, doesn't have any energy, but he is instead going to abandon that, uh, you know, that, that repositioning in Micro to do a defend against this fort, and that's probably the right decision at this point, as there are a lot of, of green tanks over here quite a lot and uh, now two green players over here able to they will be able to handle this blue push uh, it's not really that threatening anymore the threat now is on the blue team with this green uh, tank line here and uh, lots of actually lots of units and Leaf Poison doing a little bit of repositioning Happy Death will be able to snipe 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 so it's just a matter of time for the most part before the blue team is able to hold this off however a little bit of repositioning by that, that, that green team bringing a couple of Gemini to those other corners uh, however, this has left this outpost completely unguarded for the green team, and they will lose that to a pretty much a counter push. And also, these units are over here for the blue team. Blue team now taking this top outpost under control, uh, and okay, now finally doing a counter push from that fort. The, the, both teams are uh, about half life. The green team at a little bit less. Uh, the blue team taking this top outpost under control and will easily be able to hold it with all his defenses over here. However, the mid team, the middle outpost is completely unguarded. Last of it's here now with two Longhorn. Will they be able to take that under control? Uh, the blue team taking back their their forward and now. Now going to start to work ag again on mid from here. Wow, what interesting game flow. Oh, map, con I don't know, map flow, map control. But now the fight will kind of reset. Blue team taking this bottom outpost on back under the control. The green team taking this top. And uh, now the fight for mid will once again commence. Wow, uh, with about half-life for each team. However, the blue team does have a lunchbox down on the field. Nuclear Pizza has not put down lunchbox for their team quite yet. So they are kind of vulnerable to drops. And actually, the blue team, uh, you know, with this life bar, not, you know, they can see it, so they actually can take advantage of that with that information. However, it does look like Yellow Savior is working on the bridge and will do a bridge push. And uh, this outpost is pretty much undefended. One Gemini, two Gemini, the one Smoking Black, so you can pretty much consider that as one. Uh, will the green team be able to catch it this time? Uh, it looks like the green team is kind of winning this mid fight. Um, okay, no, not necessarily winning, but preventing the blue team from, from you know, uh, taking hold here at the, on the left side. And uh, actually, Bertha's pointing in for the blue team now for the green team. And it uh, does look like it's getting scattered by Blastabits. Oh, but it's not being uh, maintained or stopped by any of the of the blue team. Oh, but now well, Happy Death is coming here. Will he actually do a mass hold? That's probably what he should do. And no, he did a switch to T, so they will also split. And now a lot of defensive tanks down by the green team, so this will be shut down pretty hard, actually. But the, it does allow the blue team to work a lot on the mid units. And look at all the Bertha and artillery firing in. They can now just start to ferry over and, uh, you know... It, uh, extend their advantage on this bottom fight and the green team now re-pushing the bridge oh my god they are re-pushing the bridge on the bottom and it does look like the green team 
will be able to uh, catch, well, not necessarily catch the blue team by surprise. The blue team should probably actually expect this, and does look like Chrome HD. Oh, setting down Heavy Mind, so actually he saw it to begin with, and Yellow Saber, not too much to worry about, can just start slashing away, and, uh, and last bit, oh, he's, he hovered over the mine, so these few were being disarmed at the time, and they did not go off, only the very front one did go off, wow, great Osprey play right there by Blast Bits, preventing those Heavy Minds from setting off these, these tanks, and now uh, they will get sh they will pretty much get slaughtered by all the uh, blue tanks over here. They are uh, getting redirected. Uh, who did that redirect? I'm not exactly sure that switched T, but now Yellow Saber actually pushing up on this green fort here, or this green outpost at the top. Uh, it's not really going to be that uh, effective, but it will keep the green team at bay, keeping the pressure on the green on the green uh, on the green team and another counter push by the blue team wow just push after push after push lots of artillery play lots of pushing this is the kind of game that everyone would like to see to, for the most part uh, one bertha getting finished off but i like the aggressive uh, leapfrogging up uh, not necessarily leapfrogging but i guess repositioning by the blue team and now another counter push here by the blue team. Uh, lots of artillery down here. Would like to see that getting moved uh, to this top. But it does look like the blue team will be able to successfully push this bridge. And this outpost is pretty much uh, undefended. And Yellow Savior again with a drop, finishing off the lunchbox. Gonna be able to actually get through all, get completely through that lunchbox shield, repositioning his Longhorn, and gonna do a little bit more damage. It will allow this to approach, and the blue team now pushing up on the top outpost of the green team with quite a lot of artillery, uh, Bertha's included. And uh, now Yellow Savior has ha been forced to retreat, leaving his tank there. But uh, oh, this gets also uh, switched to T by Happy Death. Happy Death will be able to neutralize this bottom outpost, and it does look like blue team will finally be able to get the upper hand completely. The upper hand for the most part I guess uh, in this game however they have lost the not necessarily lost but left mid completely unguarded um, however now uh, Lethal Poison trying to defend against Happy Death here spamming Mortys to keep this outpost under control for now but it doesn't look like it's going to hold for very long Happy Death going to get this outpost neutralized as well as Yellow Savior and Chrome HD working out this top and um and uh, Blastovic saying Osprey is gone forever. I don't know. I really love that mind disarming. Uh, you know, he, he he disarmed them just in time for those for those Longhorn to pass over, and that was super OP, in my opinion. Uh, they have been able to stop the attack from down here, but again, another large boxer push um, coming for the uh, for the green fort. I would assume. Uh, the blue team has been able to take this top outpost under control, and uh, they will be able to do a, put a lot more pressure on this green fort. I don't think this is going to be the complete finish. Oh, it might. This might be the complete finish. I don't know, but with uh, Blast of Bits, Lethal Poison, and Nuclear Pizza here defending, this will probably just do a lot of damage. These boxers will really pretty much do nothing to the fort. Um, but yeah, okay, this won't be able to get the finish, but it will be pretty damn close. These creeps will now start to walk over here and will neutralize and take that outpost all by themselves, and blue team can just start to focus on just putting down pressure on this green fort and that's actually going to be it quite a lot of units over here for the blue team and boom the green or sorry the blue team oh man the blue team happy that yellow savior and chrome hd taking this custom 3v3 over lethal poison nuclear pizza and blast bits wow i i mean I, at no time in that game did i really think in my head that green team had the distinct advantage. They did get that bottom outpost under the control, but you know they had, didn't have mid. All the pressure was going. You know their 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 power station was completely unguarded. So you know that was a thing. Um, and yeah, I mean, even though they had that bottom outpost, when they pushed the fort, they didn't leave anything guarding. So they you know it was completely unguarded, and you know because their their power station, their top power station was also completely unguarded. You know it allowed blue to push that up as well. But you know. Even though that that you know the entire time I didn't really expect the blue team or the you know the, the green team to uh, to take that game, I still really had no idea what was going to happen that entire time. It was crazy. I mean, I hope you guys felt the same way. Um, I, you know, both bridges pushed at least twice. The bottom bridge I think got pushed three times. Once by the blue team and a counter push by the green team and a counter counter push by the blue team. Crazy, crazy stuff. Uh, scores all over the place. Although the blue team clearly ahead. But either way, great, great, great performance by all players and all uh, on both of those teams. So, guys, if you see or play any games that nearly this back and forth with that many moves happening, please send them in to me. Artillery, tanks, uh, you know, even shooter drops to supplement damage. Um, yeah, great game, great, 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 great game by uh, from players of all factions. All right, guys, this is RUI, and that is game. See you next time.